Okay, so we've got the middle of our rope. We put it on our opposite hip from our brake hand. Okay. And the middle is going to go right on that hip bone. I'm going to bring the other end around in front of you. So you've got two ends, one along the other. All right. And basically, you're just going to do two overhand loops. Good. All right. You can tighten it down. You want to make sure that that rope is above your hips. Okay. So that's one that you help you lock into that seat. You pull it tight. You're going to bring the ropes underneath your legs. Like so. Hey. Hey, Brian. Oh. What you can do is you're going to bring them in. So oh. they're going over the top. Oh. Down. And they'll be down in for your See that how so they, so they go yeah, over the top you. and down and they come to the middle. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then you kind of want it out a little bit towards your hips so that, you know, on tension is not going to right up your, your butt there. Okay. And basically, so what we're going to do after this is we're going to bring it around and tie it off. But you can see what this does is it forms a, a locking hitch on there. Yeah. So that it doesn't move into it. Cool. Down. Okay. All right. But before we do that, we're going to get all the slack out. We're going to squat and tighten. Just make sure you get all the slack over there. It's not a terribly comfortable seat. No. <laughs> you have to make sure it's, it's tight. So. Okay, once we got all the slack out, make sure that's going to be able to actually be behind your hip bone there. Uh, you just want to make sure it's not really towards the middle. Okay, gotcha. Just going to kind of get it like that behind. Like my hip bone's right there, it's just a little behind. Okay, and then nice and tight, and then what we're going to do, we're going to bring this end around in the front, to the side right here, and then we'll tie our square knot. Nice and snug. And then we'll finish off with that, oh, that's a great knot right there. So right over the left, and then... And then over. Right. And then over. Uh, almost. There we go. So you got it over, okay? Mm -hmm. so you're just bring around over through again, just like that. Okay. And then you tighten that by just loosening the loop and getting it as close to the yeah. as you can. And then the same with the side, but you go under the rope first. And then back under. Again, again. There you go. And then for your carry meter, you just put it down. And then we do um, most of the rappelling that we that we teach in like our standard army schools is uh, double rope. Uh, carabiner repel. So you know, just wrap the carabiner in. And there you have it. That's the Swissie. <laughs>